Welcome to the Socrato TV, where wisdom is the reality. I am your host Socrato and I'm inviting you to this political conversation where we talk about politics, social affairs, and matters to do with the economy. Babu Owino and Gadoni Wamchomba are the members of parliament in this country and there is something I observed that these two members of parliament share. They share, the, they can stand on their ground and call uh, what they believe to be the right thing and to be the right thing and actually be against that which they feel is not uh, in accordance to their principles. Gadon Mamuchomba, during the finance bill 2020, is among, I think he's the only members of, member of parliament elected through UD who stood against uh, the bill. And many say that it was a political suicide. But after some time, we saw people in Kiambu who are actually complaining about avocado tax that had been a product of the 2020 finance bill. And from that, she was vindicated. And if indeed there was election in, uh, during that period, people will have voted for him because he was against that uh, finance bill, which actually brought this problem. But Boino, you know, on the other hand, has marked his political history uh, with the dramas uh, that is uh, from the University of Nairobi uh, even, even up to the period where he is as the member of parliament in Embakasi. His ability to mobilize the crowd, to stimulate the crowd and to connect, to resonate with the crowd cannot be ignored. Now, these two leaders have actually uh, w decided that they will work together with other members of parliament, including Caleb Hamisi, uh, and also uh, we have Ma Catherine Omanyo, it's a woman rep from Busia County, and it appears that they are creating what we could refer to as an alternative to UDA and also an alternative to Azimio La Umoja. So in this video, I want to us to dissect uh, the meeting between these leaders to try and to understand what they want to achieve by them forming uh, this team they call Team Ground. And before we even start dissecting further, I would also like to remind you that if you are new to our channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Remember, here at is where we call the Socrato TV, and the Socrato TV is where wisdom meets the reality. Uh, let's have a look at the clip. Amazing. 
over the insensitive way of enabling them to produce their, from their farms or from their fields. The president has been very vocal talking about subsidized seeds and subsidized fertilizer. But to our utter shock, the fertilizer that is out there being sold as subsidized fertilizer from outlets from national cereals and produce booths. And in this case, I'm talking about the fertilizer that the farmers are receiving messages on their phone that they qualify for subsidy program. It is adulterated fertilizer. The seeds that are available are fake seeds. And we are the farmers' voice, and we must call out the minister in charge of agriculture. The minister has appeared on television and on newspapers denying that there is no fake fertilizer. Yet, we are witnessing this kind of fertilizer every day. Yesterday, I was presented with five bags of uh, fertilizer that is purported to be fertilizer, but it is fake stones mixed with Danke's uh, 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 poo. Danke's poo is uh, the waste from the Danke. Danke's poo mixed with stones, and it is being sold as subsidized fertilizer. We must call out this mess. The government has become so insensitive to the extent that now they are calling farmers. This is something that we want to see serious arrests. We want to know who is behind this scam. We want to know where did the fertilizer that was supposed to be real fertilizer go and who is behind this serious massive scam of taking advantage of our old and elderly farmers in our village. This must stop. And every farmer who has been conned must be reversed to their money. Every farmer who has been sold to fake seeds must be compensated by the government. It is in line with the Kenyan constitution, the right to protection of property that we are here speaking, so that we can make sure that the government follows and obeys the rule of law and provides the Kenyan farmers with what they are supposed to be given. So we want to know, how much of that fertilizer in terms of quantity has been released into our villages? Because we are seeing five bags here, ten bags here, five bags there. We want to see data from the Ministry of Agriculture. And the Minister of Agriculture, Buana Linturi, must come out now and attack this issue, arrest this issue, and we want to see serious arrest being done by the Ministry by the government and by the Ministry of Interior. This issue of conmanship must stop. Our farmers must be protected. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana, as uh, Mwishimiwa Omusumba has stated, that this is a team that will be on the ground. This is a team that will voice, the, uh, uh, that will echo the voice of the voiceless, that will fight for the inherent and inalienable interests and rights of Kenyan citizens everywhere, wherever they are, in all the eight regions. This is a team that comprises of youthful leadership, the generational change. And the team here, we have Mwishimiwa Kaleb Amishi, all the way representing the, the Western region and the youth in the country, all the way from Saboti constituency. We have Mwishimiwa Wamusomba Gadoni, representing the Central region. We have Mwishimiwa Charles Nguna, PNN, representing the Eastern region. We have Mwishimiwa Amos Mwago, representing from Sare constituency, representing Nairobi and the youth in the nation. We have Mwishimiwa Catherine Omanyo, all the way from Busia, the Busia women representative, representing Western region and also the youth in this nation. The leaders, these members of parliament, are saying that the opposition has failed and the government is also failing. Just a little background. The opposition for a very long period of time has been uh, driven by Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila Amolo Odinga is actually her, the person who has been the opposition face of uh, the, the face of the opposition. Since his announcement to become the leader of African Union Chair uh, African Union Commission, that is the chairperson, there has been reduced activities in the opposition. There are issues that we are seeing in the government, but no comment from the uh, opposition. There's this health problem whereby 
doctors are striking no comment uh, from the opposition we are seeing there have been a, a scandal that is fertilizer saga whereby farmers are being sold or are being given fake fertilizer no comment from the opposition so it defeats logic like these individuals like Kalonzo Msioka and Uyoso Matakarua who appear to be interested in leading the nation why are they not talking why are they not communicating why are not, they not calling out the government so these uh, leaders Babuino and Kadono Mchomba as the led have decided that they will not continue to sleep while people continue suffering so they are like an alternative more of an alternative to opposition and their idea is based on checking the government to ensure that the government does that which is right to people i think this is a noble idea especially if it's executed well remember that is how leaders are made and it has always been my opinion that babo wino needs to chart his own path and, and not really uh, depend on uh, Raila Amolo Odinga to endorse him as the leader as some people argue he need to chart his own path and if possible even develop his own party you cannot really be enjoying just sitting at, uh, under a certain leader so this is one step in the right direction and the fact that they have decided to include all the regions in the country or majority of them for that case it is a promising movement but this does not come with some challenges remember since they have even stated that the opposition has failed this will not sit very well with some of the opposition leaders and it may make them look at babu you know, as an individual who is greedy for power and wants actually to take over their supporters they may try to sabotage him and Uh, i think that is the likely a uh, problem they or the challenge they will face from the opposition side from the government side of course it is always normal that the government will always try to uh, subdue any individual who opposes it or who wants to explain to an anchi actually what the government is doing wrong so the government especially if it discover that this uh, formation is strong or is resonating with the anchi Uh, the, these individuals should expect that they will be dealt with by the government but still this has an advantage i was following the election in senegal and the leader that the president elect actually became the president for after campaigning only for 10 days the reason he campaigned for 10 days is that he had been in prison for over one year by the the incumbent president on matters on political issues of course so the fact that he was imprisoned by the regime thinking that they will curtail his efforts to even campaign it actually did not turn out that way but there were sympathy votes that they received and also people resonated with him more than the other candidates and i think that is the also the idea that this formation should focus on they sh- should not think so much about the challenges but they should believe or say they should be aware that these challenges that are imminent will actually help to build them so let's hope that this uh, formation is legitimate and it is not really for power they are not power hungry but they are up to helping a mananchi remember there are also this kind of formation that are actually formed by people who are up to get power or get money so uh, that usually does not achieve uh, the important goal of helping mananchi i believe this will be a different one and if that is the case then i wish them all the best so that is my 